Welcome back to Pink Turtle Soaps. Today I'm making a mince fragrance called Tobacco Caramel. But don't let the fragrance name fool you because it doesn't smell like tobacco and it doesn't smell like caramel. But the two notes together really create something special. So I'll actually add a list of the fragrance notes because it's a little bit complicated and it's hard to explain. But it's a very distinguished fragrance. It's an excellent selection if you're looking for something that's a little different than the usual men's fragrances out there so this one is definitely a more softer fragrance so keep that in mind if that's what you're looking for in this container here I have my oils melted and in this container I have my lye water made up and ready to go so all I'm going to do is add my lye water to my oils and use my stick blender to blend them together so now that everything is blended together I'm going to take my larger container here and split it off into two separate batches all right, so we have our two batches here, and before I add any kind of colorant or fragrance to them, I'm going to add the pumice powder. I decided since the design of the soap wasn't really very intricate, that it needed a little something special, so I'm actually going to add some pumice powder to make it an exfoliating soap. This is a wonderful option if you're looking to make an exfoliating soap, but you don't want to use anything large, maybe like poppy seeds or something. This is very fine ground. So you're actually probably not even going to see it in the soap, but you will be able to feel it and it's going to give a very nice exfoliating property to the soap. And I have had some requests for an exfoliating men's soap, so I thought this would be the perfect one to make. So I'm going to move one over and I'm not going to mess with it right now. I'm just going to work with one. And into this one, I am adding some black iron oxide and it's mixed with oil already just because it, it can cause some issues trying to mix it in. If you don't mix it up prior to adding it to your soap, you just add it to your soap. I've done it a few times, haven't really had an issue, but for this one I felt like I would just go ahead and mix it. That way I knew that there, wasn't gonna, there wasn't gonna be any clumps in my soap. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my stick blender and mix this in really quick before we add the fragrance oil to it. As you can see we have a very lovely black that black iron oxide works like a charm every single time so now I'm going to add the fragrance oil all right so we have just a little bit of rising happening which is not a big deal at all it's hardly even noticeable but I am going to grab the stick blender and I'm going to blend that out just real quick and then I'll grab our molds and we'll start pouring it all right so I've got the mold and I'm just going to start pouring this black in it is starting to set up, which is exactly what I want because this is going to be a layered soap. So I'm just going to scrape out this container here, get all of that into the mold really quick. All right, so all of it is in the mold and I'm actually going to wait a few minutes and when it sets up enough, I'm going to take the spatula and I'm going to disturb that layer, make it sort of peak in the middle. Alright, so it's been about five minutes and this bottom layer has thickened up enough that I can, I'm actually going to take a different spatula here. I'm going to sort of make little like peaks inside the soap. I'm going to try to make it as not flat as possible. And it's definitely thick enough that it's going to hold its shape and support the next layer of soap that's going to go on top of it. Okay, there's some pretty deep places in there, which is great. So I'm going to scoop this off to the side. And we're going to start with our second color. For this second color, I'm using Copper Penny. Grab a stick blender here. And go ahead and mix this up. scrape down the sides make sure that all that color is nice and incorporated it likes to get stuck on the side of the bowl sometimes so 
I always like to double check, make sure it's all nice and mixed in together. And this color combo is absolutely perfect. I'm glad that I chose the Copper Penny. I knew I wanted to do black, but I couldn't decide what color to put with it. And I'm really glad I chose this one. I think it's going to look awesome. So I've moved the mold back. And with this soap being, maybe you can tell, it's still very liquidy. It's going to fill in all those crevices nice and well. So I'm going to go ahead and slowly pour that in just to make sure that everything gets filled. Alright, so now I'm going to pat this down. And it is still too liquidy to try to scoop out my container and add it on top, so I'm going to let this set and thicken up. And then I'll go ahead and scoop out the bowl, and then we'll pick up the top. very strange to make a soap and not have glitter or a swirl on top but I think that the inside is going to definitely speak for itself once we get to cut it up and we can see how the black looks against this copper penny color I think it's going to look great I'm going to spray it down with rubbing alcohol to help prevent any soda ash from forming and I'll probably come back in another hour or so and spray it down one more time and in about 24 hours I'll come back and check it and if it's ready we'll unmold it and cut it up check out those peaks inside so we're back to cut up the tobacco caramel, and it's actually been about four days. My weekend plans kind of got moved around, and today's the first day that I've been able to come back into the office and unmold this. And there's nothing wrong with letting your soap set for a little bit longer than usual. It just ensures that your soap's nice and firm when you go to cut it. So go ahead and cut into this first bar. And that's what it looks like. I'm getting like a cowhide vibe. What do you think? It looks like something you'd see in like a boot store or something. <laughs> I'm really digging it. Yeah, I think that looks really cool. Those two colors look really good together. And they fit the fragrance perfectly. Like I said, you probably wouldn't be able to see the pumice powder in there, but you will be able to feel it. But it's not enough that it's going to be scratchy. It's just going to be enough to feel, um, to give that sort of exfoliating property to it. So it'll be really nice to use. Let's go ahead and cut up the rest of this loaf. to grab yourself a bar these will be available at pinkturtlesoaps.com may 1st at 8 a.m be sure to subscribe to the channel because i upload a new soap making video every single wednesday thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week